Hello there, Anna here and in this video I'm gonna show you the color changes. I will start with the beginner one which is super simple but you can see the color changes you know in the front it's fine but in the back you can really see the marks where it started and finished. Then I will move to the second one which is my favorite I really love this one this is the best it's easy it's simple and in my opinion it's perfect <laughs> then I will show you this third way that it's very popular on the on the internet but I don't like it I mean it's my opinion you can see it's a lot of work and I don't think it's worth the effort and at the end the perfect one this it's perfect but it's a lot of work so if you're a perfectionist, this is the one for you, but, you know, I like the other one. So, let's go! Let's start with this one, which is the most simple one, it's for a beginner. You probably know that, if not, stick around, if it is, you just move to my favorite one, which is the second one. But I have to show this one, because it's very simple, it's easy, it's nice. And I have to say that I use these color changes from time to time. So, in your single crochet, insert the needle, yarn over and you will finish your single crochet with the new collar that you will add. So here I have my collar. I will just hold behind with my fingers, yarn over and that's it. Collar changer is done. and the easiest and the simple and it's really good so if you're a beginner just stick around with this for some couple of works you just continue working in the round your single crochet it's easy it's fast it's practical okay but the result is something like this you can see where one row finish and where the other row begins and that's why you have this difference like very obvious in the color changes so here I will just crochet a little bit and you can see at the end of the row the difference already here I am at my last stitch I will continue normally crocheting for the next row I'll do a couple of more so you can see the obvious changes here you see this one so you have this and isn't as showing in this detail that it's ready front it's fine so that's super good you know in the front of your toy it's nice but at the back you have this difference it doesn't bother me that much but I understand that some people want more perfect way and I will show you my favorite one which is the next one again I have my detail here that we are going to work for this second color change this one it's my favorite it's just perfect it's in easy and simple for everyone even for a beginner so you're going to make the color change normally as you would so halfway through the single crochet yarn over and finishing with the new color okay so the secret is here in the first stitch of the row you're going to make a slip stitch Ta -da! instead of making a single crochet you'll do a slip stitch and continue normally the row as you would so now I'm moving to the end of the row and I will show you how you're going to continue this. Here I am in my last stitch of the row, single crochet, and you're going to continue by making a single crochet in the slip stitch you made at the beginning. And that's it. Continue working your row normally as you would. I will do a couple of more so you can see the color change better. Okay, so look how this is much better. 
than the previous one. It's almost straight, you can see of course, this is the final result, but it's very neat, it's uh, not that obvious the color change and it's minimal effort that you need to make. So it's super easy, this is my favorite one. Here is one color change and here is the other one when I'm back working in the glue. So the previous one is this, which I think is also nice. Front is always the best, it's always the same, but the back, here for me, this is the best option. Very nice, I love this one, it's my favorite. And moving on to the third way. I will show this one just because some people told me that this is the one that looks most perfect, but I don't agree. So let's try it out here and I will show you and you can make your choice. So you're going to start the color change in the previous row of the color changes. Because the idea, so here let me just change the color, the idea is to make the stitch in the blue, so in the color that you are working, and the top of the stitch with the color that you're going to use next. So you're going to crochet halfway of your stitch with your current color and the end of the stitch with your new color. Okay, so you will work with the two colors. So the stitch you will start with the current color and you finish the stitch with the new color you're going to use and you see the top of the stitch will be with the new color that you will change in the next row so again with the current color you do the you start the single crochet and you finish with the new color so you got the idea, right? So I'm going to make the whole ro uh, row and show you the result at the end and how you move on after that. And here I am in my last stitch of this row. That's it. What's gonna happen now is that you will start working only with the yellow. So you'll work only with the color that you changed. And you're going to do single crochet normally in the round as you would. I'm gonna crochet a couple of more here and then I will show you the final result. Now I will show you, you see this is the color changes and where it starts my row and this one is the final result. Here you can see the color changes, you see this one, it's here and I don't think that the difference is uh, like, I don't think the difference is that much between this one and the first one that I show you and here this is the previous one the one that I say that I love it and it's so much easier and simple than this one and this is the first one the easiest way in my opinion the result is very much similar so I don't think it's worth the effort but now you know how to make it you can take the decision by yourself so this is the reason why I want to show you all these different ways so you can see which one is the best for you. Now we will move to the last one. We have the detail here for the last one and what we're going to do here is uh, cut our yarn and finish off completely. How we are going to do is, how we are going to do this is uh, we will use our sewing needle or tapestry needle or whichever needle you want to use and we are faking it's 
some way of saying uh, one stitch so this is the first stitch of the row we will jump this stitch and work in the next one so you will introduce your needle here pull the yarn you don't need to pull it super tight so here what I did is just insert the needle our stitch is still here under the one that you jumped and you're going to insert the needle again but this time on the back loop of the last stitch of the row okay so you are making in this way a stitch above the stitch that you jumped so you should have the same amount of, uh, same amount of stitches here you see and it's uh, you can basically not see where this stitch is so I'm going to fasten off here really fast for you and we will move to the color change here we are we have some bump here as you can see but it's not that obvious but it's there right so we're gonna take the new color that you want to work with and we will choose somewhere else not here where we finish but somewhere else near I like to jump like some three or four stitches in front uh, of where I finished what I'm going to do here is insert my needle on the back loop chain one and work one single crochet in the same stitch that you chain one on the back loop but this time in the whole stitch okay so this is our first stitch here and continue working single crochet in the round like you normally would so i will catch you up at the end of this row here i am in my last stitch so now i will continue working in single crochet in the first stitch of the row no problem very simple very easy so continue working the round I will make a couple of more of single crochet so you can see the result and we can compare with the other ones okay so this is it is the like the most perfect one I think when you work the second round you will see even less so here we have the final detail I will show you this is the front normal very nice and here you can see the changes so one it's here I finished the blue one here and then I started the yellow one here three rolls after the yellow one finish here and I start the blue one next to it which is where is it here this one you see it's really <laughs> invisible it's hard to see even this is the most perfect one in my opinion it takes a lot of effort because you need to finish off literally every time but it's completely invisible you can really not see where one begins and one finished this one is the one that i told you that i love the most because it's very simple and easy so you can see that it's a little bit skinnier you know where you make the color changes then when you use this last one that i told you and again the third one that i don't like but i want to show you like a bunch of people that i've seen that works that gets my patterns and everything they use this one so i just want to show you and you make the decision what it's good for you for me they are very similar one to another and this one my favorite i will stop saying this you already know i'm curious to know what is your opinion about these ones and let me know in the comments below which one you like the most and if you knew some of these color changes let me know 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that was useful to you and if you like this video please check out some other videos from my channel. Thank you for being here, bye!